Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today we actually have some highlights from a live stream that we did recently where I spent two hours grinding turkeys and we easily killed, I'd say at least 70, probably even closer to 100 turkeys within this two hour period. I honestly didn't know that you could kill that many turkeys in such a short amount of time but we did and we got some really cool stuff out of it you guys are going to be seeing those pretty soon but i just spotted a piebald mule deer buck and he seems to have been spooked off by mountain lions so we are going to have to do a bit of tracking and because of that oh he's actually right there so as you guys can see there is our piebald mule deer buck he is spooked off by mountain lions so uh, this is going to be a little bit of a chase probably but I think until we chase this guy down, we're going to real quickly show off all of these awesome highlights from the live stream. But before we get into those, if you guys are brand new to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss a video. Also be sure to comment down below with what you enjoy most about my videos, uh, what your favorite series is, what you're expecting to see out of the Mexico Reserve, and well, anything else you guys would like to say. But without further ado, let's get into the highlights. That is a 9 to 11. Let's see what this guy right here will score. Oh my gosh, it's a diamond. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a level 2 diamond. Wow. That's awesome. Uh, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go pull the footage from the uh, the replay of the live stream after this is done, so it's not gonna be the highest quality, but that is awesome. That is super awesome, guys. We got a diamond already. Holy. Oh my gosh. I think it's all female turkeys. We got nothing but hens here. Um, there's sometimes some toms that hide in the brush. Maybe we can get a few to come out after shooting that one. Oh. Yeah, they're somewhere tucked away in here. This is the only unfortunate thing about this spot. You get a lot of turkeys just hiding in this brush. Um, I'm tempted to just spam that area and try to get a couple of them with lucky shots. Oh, there it is. There we go, we got him. There might even be more. There he is. I knew they were hiding. There's all the males. Nice. All right, so it's probably good for now. If you have not already, uh, Bon, I would definitely recommend grinding mountain lions to get that last bit of cash. Mountain lions are a really good way to do it. Come back here. Oh my gosh, it's... <laughs> That's the second level 2 diamond of the day. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. Second level 2 diamond of the day. And that one literally just flew past us. I was gonna let it go, but then I decided to shoot it. That is crazy. What are the chances? Two level two diamonds. I swear if one of these other 9 to 11 ones is a diamond also, that's going to be insane. We have one more down that's a 9 to 11. Imagine if it ends up being a diamond. 4.40, that's a decent one. But it's not a diamond. 410. 370, and I think we downed one more. There we go. I think that's... Leucistic or albino? That is either leucistic or albino. I think it's albino though. That definitely looks albino. We've been having some pretty amazing luck with the turkeys today. We got ourselves two level two diamonds and now we've got a nice little what appears to be albino. That's actually pretty awesome. I kind of wish it was a male but We've been shooting a lot of females, so it doesn't surprise me that we had a female respawn as a rare. 
It definitely looks albino. Can we get that? Nope, don't think we can, but since she's just chilling there. You know, that actually might be leucistic. The fan has that little black streak at the top of the feathers. I think that is a leucistic now that I see the tail. That's definitely leucistic. I think that's... No, maybe not. No, that's albino. Look at the head. I should have known that. Wait. Actually, I don't even know anymore. It's got the tail that looks like a leucistic, but the head looks albino. Guess we'll see. It is leucistic. That's pretty cool. So I guess the leucistic ones have a pink head also. So the only real way to tell the difference is the tail. And I'm guessing the albino ones probably just look a little brighter. It's been forever since I've seen one, so... I don't remember, but that's cool. Nice little rare turkey. Don't see any males. Nope. Just females this time. One of the biggest things is just be unique, be yourself. Don't try to force yourself to make content that isn't you. All that type of stuff is really important. Oh, no, that was a melanistic. That was a melanistic. Uh, we have to go to the trophy lodge so that we can tax that. Oh my gosh. Okay, so if you guys didn't know, as long as you don't claim anything after it, you can still go back and tax it. I just barely caught that. That said melanistic. So we just got to go in the lodge. If we go to the trophy manager, we'll be able to tax it from there. Holy. Can't believe that. I have been wanting one of these for so long. Tax it. Oh my gosh. Melanistic turkey. I am so sad we didn't get to look at that in the trophy screen because I just breezed by it. Oh my gosh. Melanistic turkey. That's so cool. It's so hard to tell the difference. Wow. That's awesome looking. Today has been an insane day, guys. Leucistic and melanistic female turkeys and two diamonds. Holy. Then we got a couple here. There should be at least two more further down. 4.20. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that was oh my gosh that was the funniest thing I've ever seen <laughs> that poor thing oh no <laughs> I deleted the zone no I didn't think it would I didn't think we'd actually killed that many no <laughs> oh my gosh it was worth it though that was hilarious it was well worth it yeah, that would be interesting, Cody. Definitely be interesting. Hey! No! You stay. Any more? Nope. I think we're good. Oh! Holy! We are just absolutely no-scoping turkeys today. Those poor things. So now that you guys have seen all of the highlights, let's see if we can get in a good enough spot to take down this mule deer. It has hidden itself behind these trees, so I don't know if we're going to be able to get a good shot from here. We might have to move a little bit, uh, but we will eventually get to a spot where we can take him, hopefully. We just got to hope that we don't get kicked or disconnected or anything like that in the meantime, because we are in a multiplayer server. 
and you never know what might happen in those so we're gonna try and get into a good position as quickly as we can they are starting to come back down so I'd imagine the piebald's probably gonna step out near the back of them because it was one of the first ones to run off in this direction so it'll probably be the last one to show itself and yeah this guy was actually really close to him so he shouldn't be too far away and there he is we do have the 7mm so this should have no issues dropping him and that looked to be a pretty good shot if not we can probably try to get a second one into him I was a little bit worried that it might be low but it does look like we got lungs so we shouldn't have to worry about missing out on full score but I am incredibly excited to eventually get to hunt mule deer on the brand new map Rancho Del Arroyo I don't know when this video is gonna come out for all I know by the time this comes out we might have a release date but as of now there is no release date I'm hoping that it'll be soon though because I cannot wait to jump on that map and take on some whitetail and mule deer in a desert environment I think that's gonna be a really good time but there's our little buck right there let's get a quick screenshot of him just like that that's actually a pretty cool one for being so small I'm not too mad about that so let's see where we got him that was indeed a perfect double lung it was actually a lot better than I expected it to be this was literally the first server that I joined in on and it only took a matter of like 10 minutes before I was able to find something good because as far as I could tell this map right here the guy that is hosting it seems to have only searched the plains areas down in the south I see a few tents down there uh, as you guys can see right here there's a little bit of tents down here but it looks like he has spent all of his time in this area and so all of the spots up here had like zero need zones as you guys can see there's very minimal need zones so I immediately knew this was gonna be a pretty decent map to search I was actually looking for a mountain lion or Rocky Mountain Elk since it's just past 17 but unfortunately we weren't able to find one of those but we did manage to find a nice mule deer all right well after about another 45 minutes of finding pretty much nothing after that last good kill I think we should probably head into the lodge and take a look at everything that we have got during this video so I think what I'm gonna do is make a multi mount out of a few of the turkeys that we got in the past couple days that we showed off in this video and I actually real quickly need to place a different one right here we will uh, I guess we'll place that little leucistic one right here but I want to make a multi mount out of a few of the ones that we have in our inventory currently and those are the melanistic female the light brown male that was a pretty big one that we got a few days ago and then also our max scoring one back from last year and I think this is gonna make a pretty cool multi mount but I honestly just don't know where to put it we've already got a turkey mount over in this room and I don't know if there's anything in here that I could really replace I mean maybe we could move one of the whitetail mounts that we have in this lodge I just don't know which one this one I obviously want to keep because this has our really strange close tipped level 3 our 291 from around the time that I started YouTube and the bugged great one so definitely not gonna remove that one but I think we have two other whitetail mounts besides the couple that are in here that we could possibly replace so I think what I'm gonna do first of all is replace this ibex mount with this one right here and then we will move the ibex mount to a different area in the lodge and I think probably just gonna do something like that for now we can always change this at a later time if we need to but as for the ibex I think we're going to replace this mount right here because all of these are from the older scoring system or not older scoring system but the older score requirements so I don't think that's gonna be as nice as having our grand slam here so let's just get these guys set up I don't like the fact that they aim in that direction that's a little bit odd so probably put them over here actually yeah that's a uh, much better then we'll put this one over here much better 
definitely like that placement a little bit better than what we had before. So uh, we'll put this whitetail mount in a different lodge, but that is going to be it for this video, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. We finally accomplished a few things that we had wanted to do, like getting a melanistic turkey. It's unfortunate that it's a female but still super cool. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss a video. Also be sure to comment down below with your favorite part of this video or what you would like to see me do next. And I will try to respond to as many of them as I can. But with that being said, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!